Hey, what is up guys? I'm just working on generator indoors here and I just thought we'd cover um, five or six reasons why your generator might be really hard to pull start. Let's get to it. Now, the first thing I would suspect would be hydro lock um, inside of your cylinder. So when that piston's going up and down, if you have any liquid on top of that piston, you're not gonna compress liquid. In fact, when your engine floods and you get liquid on top of that piston, your engine stalls. It can't even compress liquid. It can compress air. It can't compress liquid. So if you have a float needle um, and it's not bonding perfectly with the float needle seat and it's leaking gas and it's going up into the throat of the carburetor and running into your uh, cylinder on top of your piston there, um, that would cause hydro lock. If you winterized an item, you're not going to really winterize a generator, but if you leave it sit for a while, you might put a little oil in the, um, you might remove the spark plug, put a little oil in there to lubricate the piston rings and keep things from rusting. Um, if that's the case, if you still have oil sitting on top of that piston, you're not going to compress it. So that is called hydro lock. You're going to be, it's going to be impossible to pull that recoil cord. What you need to do is take a deep well socket. You need to remove the spark plug. So take off the spark plug boot, remove the spark plug, and then stay away from the hole where the spark plug was, but you're gonna to wanna to pull on that recoil cord and see if now you can pull that cord. If that's the case, you probably just had hydro lock. Pull it a few times, that'll let some of the, the uh, liquid fly out of that hole. Um, it'll work it by the uh, piston rings and um, you should be good to go after that. Put the spark plug back in, put the boot back on, give it a shot. All right, the next reason might be your recoil start assembly. Uh, there could just be something broken internally here. Um, I will put an overlay of how to fix this, but it's, it's not that complicated once you do it a couple times. Um, but this could be a simple fix right here. Just you can either buy a new one or you can take this apart and work on it yourself. Like I said, they're not too complicated and you'll see in the overlay what, what you need to do. If you guys can think of any reasons in, that I miss in this video of why your generator might be hard to pull start, please leave them in the description below. Let's learn together on this one, guys. Now, the next thing might be you might have a cracked flywheel or there might be something wrong with the flywheel key and that's gonna be right here. So the recoil start was here and then the fan and then beneath that, uh, well, actually the recoil start, the starter cup, then the fan, then the flywheel. And if this is cracked, um, it's not gonna it's not gonna turn. It's probably gonna bind up against something. So you're gonna wanna check, make sure there's no cracks on this. Uh, the flywheel key is gonna be located here on the side and just make sure that there's no issues with that. But this is gonna be a rare thing, but still, if it's if this is a problem, it might, uh, it might be better off for you to just get a whole new generator, it depends on the cost. So you're gonna have to look into whether it's worth repairing that or whether it's uh, uh, something, just junk it. Now, if it's been a long time since you've used your generator, and I'm talking years, and uh, things just aren't lubed up properly, uh, you might have rust built up in your cylinder, possibly, or uh, some corrosion. Um, so your piston might be seized up for that reason. Or if you ran it low on oil and um, it got too hot, the piston could be seized up as well. So that would be another reason why. If that piston's not gonna move, that recoil start is not gonna work as well. So um, what you could do in that instance is if you've, ruled out all of the other things we've talked about. You can pour a little bit of oil, uh, take the spark plug out, pour a little oil down in there with a funnel and let it sit, let it work its way around the, um, the piston rings and uh, give that a couple hours and then come back, try to pull it again, see if that works. And uh, yeah, if it's truly seized, you're in for a world of hurt. You're probably gonna need a new generator. All right, the next reason could be your compression release. Now the compression release is inside of the engine itself. And what that is, it's a little lobe that, that engages at low speed. So that would include you pulling on the recoil cord. So when you pull on that recoil cord, the valves are gonna go up and down and do their thing. Um, and you're gonna be trying to, it's gonna try to reach full compression. And so compressing all of that is gonna be really hard just with your arm strength. And what that little lobe does, the compression release, is it tips I believe it's the exhaust valve and it tips it barely to where the, the valve just opens a little bit and lets some air out um, on the full compression so that you're not, um, so when it's supposed to ignite, it lets out a little bit of air so that you're not squeezing all that air by your muscle strength. And that way that piston can go up and down easier and get a better start. Once your engine fully engages, it disengages that lobe because it's only engaged during low speeds. And um, anyways, if that lobe is damaged, that would make pull starting a lot harder for you. It wouldn't necessarily be impossible. Maybe it depends, but um, 
it's going to be a lot harder. All right, guys, that's five reasons why your generator might be hard to pull start, the recoil start assembly, uh, hydro lock, the flywheel and the flywheel key, piston could be seized up, or um, the compression release might be bad. So hope this helps you out. Hope this uh, gets somebody back up and running. Take it easy, guys. Thanks for the view, and uh, have a good day.